Hey guys, I'm BDC. I'm back here on the Minecraft server. I want to show you this real fast. Pyro did this. It looks really nice. He took dark oak, andesite, and oak leaves, and he made these little trees in the path here. He also took down the big kind of arch bridge that was there, and he made a much more simplistic version using just cobblestone and dark oak and some fence and what have you. So it looks pretty good. I like it. In other news, I seem to have lost my Fortune 3 pickaxe. I went and made a new one, but the other one that I had, it just vanished. It's not in any of my chests. Nobody's borrowed it. It's just gone. And I only used the thing, like, maybe ten times at most? I don't know. It's just vanished. It's kind of, it was kind of frustrating. So I did make a new one. That one was a, a pain. And I got a, another project that I'm going to be working on today with... Seth Bling and Nebris. So let me jump into that. Troller had an idea. I did. Well, bas basically, yeah, why don't, you, first why don't you talk about it? I, yeah, all right. So uh, I wanted to make this all, this entire project spawned from my desire to make a banner. And I want to make a banner design, and it requires a creeper, uh, creeper head. So in order to get a creeper head or mob heads, you have to use a charged creeper. Uh, Seth has already had a little experiment uh, in the, towards the center of town, and we kind of scaled up and modified it a bit. And the idea here is we're going to have kind of an AFK pad where there's going to be like a little fishing station underneath, and someone can AFK here for a bit, and if there's a thunderstorm, then we might get some charged creepers. So every single one of these little grids here is going to house a creeper. Now the idea is that the, we lure the we, excuse, blah, blah, we lure the creeper into this little pod oh, right here. There's a creeper right there. Oh, there it is. There. There's a creeper. Right, I'm gonna yeah. Let's okay. uh, let's let's grab one. one. All right, so let's build. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna actually let's use this pod. Ah, uh, shoot! Oh no! Did you? You're, you're breaking everything. Never. You're gonna dance. have to delay. You're gonna have to delay. Uh, I have to put in the slab in here too. And <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we got zombies. I'm gonna try to clear out the zombies real fast. Oh, we gotta build the yeah, uh, the wall thing. Okay. Okay, so while yeah, Nebris is handling uh, that, I'll right. explain this quickly. <laughs> all right, so this is a pod right here, okay? There's a half slab right oh. there, and uh, there's some wall right here. Uh, how this... Oh, my God, Nebris. We only need a creeper. We don't uh, need an here, army. I can, I can get the creeper here. I can get the creeper. So hey, how it's going to work is the person that's uh, being tracked by the creeper, this is Seth, uh, he's going to go through here, and the creeper is going to follow him and just fall right in the hole. The because reason there's being, a, because there's a slab there, the creeper will just walk right in. Oh yep. no 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 no, buddy, pal. Did he fall All right, in? Okay. so now. So the reason okay. why that works so easily is because it's one and a half blocks, and the AI for the mob no, says that it's. Don't an, don't break that yet. Yeah. Never. The AI for the mob <laughs> says it's okay to go in there. Now what Seth is going to do is he's going to go around the side right here, and he's going to break the slab. Excuse me. And slab that's gonna the, trick the creeper. Yep. Yeah. So now On we my can. Screen, you can see the creeper fell in. Yeah. Now we can cover it up. We're eventually gonna cover it with glass, uh, and they'll be color coded on the glass and what have you. Um, and we'll use name tags too. Yeah. Uh, to, to make sure that the creeper won't despawn. Because if you if you use a name tag on a on a mob, they just can't despawn. So now while we're in here, so you can use if you really wanted to, you can use a, a name tag right now, and we could put it on the the creeper and you're all safe. The creeper has no chance of detonating because he can't actually see you. And then we're gonna replace the dirt block with colored right. glass, and the glass will be dependent on who you are. So let's, I'll use white colored glass, and Seth will use red colored glass, and Nebris will use uh, yellow or something like that. So for- I'm not using yellow. What, whatever. So what, <laughs> whatever you're, Whatever we use for uh, for glass, that will indicate like who owns that creeper. So, because the name tags are kind of a rare resource. So yeah. It's, you don't want to. If you use the name tag, you kind of want to own that. Like own exactly. The spot. So w if lightning happens to strike anywhere in the grid, uh, if someone happens to get a charged creeper, then we know exactly whose it is because of the glass coloration. So. Uh, and, and then uh, once once we have the creeper, let's say for for the sake of discussion, it has been charged. 
Oh, another thing is the reason why we're using Netherrack is because of lightning strikes. It'll light the area up and it will indicate that, hey, there's probably a charge creeper here. Yeah, so, well, light, specifically, like, lightning strikes happen only during storms. So it, it's it's always raining when there's... <laughs> it, it's always raining when there's, a, when there's a thunderstorm. So normally when lightning strikes, it'll set fire to the blocks around it, but they'll get put out immediately by the rain. Netherrack is the one block that's an exception when lightning strikes and hits the netherrack it will maintain its fire even through the rain so that's why we chose to use netherrack for this this part mm -hmm. uh that's so seth if you want to show off the the next part okay yeah so uh so the idea then is uh it's kind of hard like once you have the charge creeper uh you got to maneuver it into a place where you can get it next to another creep next to another mob so that when the charge creeper blows up it'll kill the other mob and that's how you get the mob head so the area underneath, uh, down, down below everything, where this is going to be a big, like water flowy trap, I guess. Water it's flowy trap. Basically, any any mobs that are down here will get pushed over to one side of the room, actually to one corner of the room. All the way and down. It'll be kind of a, yeah, it'll be kind of a collection spot where, uh, where you can, basically set up a, a room for the creeper to blow up another mob. So, uh, so that's what that's what the plan for this room is. And you notice there's a trap door here, and we have a button up on the surface. So it's really simple. You see fire, you go to the fire, you look down through the glass, and you see the charged creeper, and you're like, okay, I'm ready to go. Punch the button, creeper falls down, and now he's in the water stream. Uh, right now, obviously, we haven't set that up yet. So, so he's just he's just kind of standing around right now. But uh, <laughs> yeah. So he'll, but, but normally, uh, or once we finish this, he will be carried off to one corner of the room, and we can, uh, yeah, we can have him blow something up. So that's pretty much the plan. Oh my god, come on. Please. It would be so sweet. So sweet. And the thing is... Oh! Oh! Oh, come oh. on! Did you see that? That shit was like two feet away from it! I don't think such it's possible bullshit. to get a charge creeper. That's such bullshit! Look at all the experience orbs. Maybe that's the that key. Was, that was right there, man. That was right there. I saw it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Wow! John Travolta. Oh, nothing over there. Oh, come on, man. We, we gotta get at least one. There's, there's gotta be one throughout this. There's so many creepers right here. If I get lower. Oh, hey, the charge pad got struck. Yeah, he's, he's almost there, BTC. Okay, awesome. I'm just looking for him right now. I already damaged the creeper up top, so we don't need to touch him. All right, he's coming in. All right. Closing the door. And he's right there. Okay, awesome. Wonderful. So we've got a creeper right there. And we also have one in the chamber. Um, so I'm going to release him. Is is a slab in here? Uh, oh, get up. Slab. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. The yeah, bottom the slab might not be good, actually. Well, it's meant I, to, it's meant to uh, hold them both next to each other. Yeah, yeah. What I'm, here's the thing though. Uh, so the explosion of the creeper comes from its, I'm pretty sure it comes from its base. Okay. And if it sees a block in the way between its base and the base of another mob, it's gonna deal a lot less damage, I think. All right. All right. Well, we'll. So. We'll we can up. switch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we might want to put it, it make it a top slab. All right, well, let's let's see how this works. Yeah, for our... let's select try it out. Yeah, all right. I think it will probably work if the creepers damage well enough. All right, so here you we want go. to go for it? Yep, uh, we're gonna switch from no boom to boom. Yeah, you get close, right? Hey, guy. Flint is him. Oh, it didn't kill him. It didn't kill him. Yeah, I think it's because the slabs. I think it's because the slabs on the bottom. Okay. Damn it. All right. Well, um, we can we can leave that guy again. in there. Yeah, or we'll leave him like... in there, and then we'll try again. Okay. Let's see if there's any other creepers around. 
I'm gonna switch. Charged. Okay, so test number of oh, dose. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a flint. I had a flint and steel. Where'd it go? I don't... There it is. Okay. Flint and you steel. strictly need it, but. Yeah. You could probably even flint and steel him through the floor. Or through the. Um... Through the piston? Piston. Try it. Give it a Yeah, maybe. It's a little hard. Yeah, you'd have to do that. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Go for it. Well, for that. I think he died. Yeah, he died. Gun, he done gun died. Gunpowder there? No, I didn't see any gunpowder. Attract. Attract. Okay. So he is in. He's in the correct location. Oh yeah, I see him. All right. Um. It's ready to go. I'm going. You wanna? All right. Third time uh -huh. to charm. Third time to charm. It worked the first. He died. I don't see any gunpowder in here. No gunpowder. Okay. Fourth so times this... the charm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Yeah, let's see if we can get the drops. Okay. Ready. Um. I, I don't do know it. if we want to risk trying to damage this guy anymore because he got hit with a lot of I'm sure he'll die. I'm sure. Okay. He'll die. Gunpowder! Gunpowder. Right, so that was just bad luck we were experiencing. Yeah. Wow. That was twice in a row we had bad I, luck. I took no damage from that creeper, by the way. You weren't ready. These creepers are yours. Yeah, just um, make whatever. Although, having two at a time is maybe not optimal, because you might get two stuck in a single cell. Eh, I think we should be fine. Three. Let's do three. You want to put uh, dirt on the bottom as well, like right there. Because remember, the whole reason for removing the buttons was so that we could block that area. It's not the whole reason, but well, yeah. But I, I just want to, you know, get them in, get them in there first. Put, uh, well, hang on. You got any? You got any dirt? 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 Yeah. And you want to remove the two from the yeah. side as well. Okie dokie. Alright, they're ready for you. Alright, let me try to... Are you going to try and get those get guys in the pen? Yeah. I I think you should... No, Nevers. Uh, oh, they're all, they're on, all on you, I think, Nevers. Well, Nevers, you don't even have to worry about those guys. You can just open up the fence yeah. and let the guy let these creepers follow There's you. There's two, two right here ready to go. Alright, I'd rather just one, but... Okay, you can just shoot one with a bow. Do you want me to take one out? Um... I think only one's following. No. No, they're both following you. If you get just the right distance away, then only one will follow you. There you go. Now you got one. Uh, BTC, make sure you keep an eye on that guy. Yeah. I got him. He's following me. I'll just one okay. lapse until you're ready. Oh, uh, he's not. Never, oh, never, never. No, 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 no. He didn't get in. There's I no slab jerk. in there, probably. There's no slab in there, probably. There's oh, a, a also, point. by the way, there's I'll put a, a slab in. There's also a spider jockey that kind of snuck across the fence. Okay, there's a slab in there now. This guy. It's the duet of the creepers. Finally. Hang on. I think I might need, you might need another block like where I put that one to full its uh, Oh, whoa, the creeper's already. on me. I oh, know that's no, on, he's on me. Okay. Are you gonna get him in the? Yep. Okay. So on. then you can. Come on, little fella. Oh, I broke the redstone. Yeah, that's happened to me before. Oh, you gotta shoot. be a little bit careful when you do that. And make sure there's kinda, a slab in here. Gotta, yeah, there's a slab. You kind of gotta take him straight through. Yeah, All right. If you try to go around a corner or something, he, he tends to derp out on you. Never I think longer pathways are achieved. probably better. But... Bam. He's in. He's okay. good. The finished, well, mostly, finished product. And over here is a lightning strike. Sadly, we did not have any creepers inside there at the time. Let me jump in here. So it definitely got struck by lightning. Oh, another one. There was another strike. I'm going to put that one out right there. Oh, it looks like there was another strike. Oh. 
Look at that! Look at that! It did get struck again. That's awesome. That's awesome. Poor Nebris, of course. Nebris picked the wrong corner. Nebris put a couple in here. So these are Nebris's right here. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's a gold one here. Who's gold? Who's gold? Is that Seth? Oh, it's Seth. Oh, I reversed it. Earlier when I said I'll be white, Seth will be red, and I think never so be yellow, I reversed it. So they ended up switching it on me. But So Seth has one in here. Let's see. Oh, Seth has a couple. He's got one there, he's got one there, he's got one there, and there, and there. So Seth has a nice, a nice spread of creepers throughout the field. So that's pretty cool. I only have a couple. I'm going to add mine. I think I have like three name tags or something like that. So I really don't have many. But, oh, that's nice. I like that. I, I saw another, uh, another fire. So Seth has a couple of his. So functionally, it's all working. Uh, it obviously needs to be prettied up a little bit. And we got to tear down this and what have you. So but what is this? What is this here? What is this? Oh, this is just to, to check that. Okay. So we're just going to have to pretty this up. Also, someone, it was probably Seth who did this, added signs. Uh, and the signs say, Electrified Creeper Field. Ask Seth, BTC, or Nebris for use. And he has a whole bunch of these all over the place. I'm pretty certain it was, uh, it was Seth who made that. And then our little fishing, creeper fishing thing right there so we can get them in more easily. So this is pretty good. And again, as I stated earlier, the entire purpose for me <laughs> making this or for coming up with this design and blah, 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 was so that I can make a banner. And then I asked the other guys, and they're like, yeah, they want it. They want the, the mob heads just for like decoration and stuff, I think. I don't think they really... I don't think they plan on making a banner. Like, you can't use the mob heads for, like, the skeleton and the zombie for anything. So I'm pretty certain the other guys just want them for decoration just to be like, hey, I've, you know, I have them. Like, that's pretty much it. I want to make a banner. Hopefully I get lucky with uh, the lightning strikes. I, I am pretty happy, though, that I saw another lightning strike. But anyways, that is going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.